Good to see you, Mr. Zuckerberg. I think you of all people can appreciate using a person's past behavior in order to determine, predict, or make decisions about future behavior. And in order for us to make decisions about Libra, I think we need to kind of dig into your past behavior and Facebook's past behavior with respect to our democracy. You announced recently that the official policy of Facebook now allows politicians to pay to spread disinformation um, in 2020 elections and in the future. So I just want to know how far I can push this um, in the next year. Here is AOC absolutely brutally destroying Mark Zuckerberg like an internet debate lord over Facebook breaking away from the rest of private corporations who refuse to run political ads with misinformation in them. Listen, debate is purely for spectacle. But sometimes the spectacle is good. Under your policy, you know, using census data as well, could I pay to target predominantly black zip codes and advertise them the incorrect election date? No, Congresswoman, you couldn't. But you said you're not going to fact check my we, ads. We have, if, if, uh, if anyone, including a politician, is saying things that uh, can cause, that is calling for violence or uh, could risk imminent physical harm or voter or census suppression when we roll out the census suppression policy, um, we will take that content down. So, so you will, there is some threshold where you will fact check political advertisements. Is that what you're telling me? Well, Congresswoman, yes, and for specific things like that, where there's imminent risk of harm. So here, AOC nails Zuckerberg on a position that Facebook seems inconsistent on, fact-checking political ads if they do voter suppression or pose an imminent risk of harm. This would mean that Facebook is probably fact-checking all ads and then letting them go if they don't fit within those boundaries. Would I be able to run advertisements on Facebook targeting Republicans in primary saying that they voted for the Green New Deal? I mean, if you're not fact-checking political advertisements, I'm just trying to understand the, the bounds here. What's fair game? Congresswoman, I, uh, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. I think So probably. you don't know if I'll be able to do that? I think probably. Um, do you see a potential problem here with a complete lack of fact-checking on political advertisements? Well, Congresswoman, I think lying is bad, and I think if you were to run an ad that had a lie, that would be bad. That's different from it being, uh, from it, from, for in our position, the right thing to do to prevent uh, your constituents or people in an election from seeing that you had lied. Thanks, Zuck. Lying is bad, folks. But apparently it's okay when Facebook knows you're lying and will let you do it. But here comes the best part, when she grills the already limited fact-checking Facebook engages in and then finds out that there's apparently some folks there that have no business fact-checking anything. Can you explain why you've named The Daily Caller a publication uh, well-documented with ties to white supremacists as an official fact checker for Facebook? Congresswoman, sure. We actually don't appoint the independent fact checkers. They go through an independent organization called the Independent Fact Checking Network that has a rigorous standard for who they allow to, uh, to serve as a fact checker. So you would say that white supremacist tied uh, publications meet a rigorous standard for fact checking? Thank you. Which isn't even the whole truth. All fact checkers Facebook partners with are certified by Pointers International Fact Checking Network. Sure, but Facebook is ultimately the one who decides who to work with. And they decided to work with six of those organizations out of the 62 organizations in the United States. And one out of those six organizations was The Daily Caller, a new site owned by Tucker Carlson, who Zuck had dinner with recently, that has published white supremacists, anti-Semites, and bigots. Just absolutely brutal. And that's how you do it, folks. I'm Sam Piker, and this has been The Breakdown. If you like this video, great. Never miss another breakdown video by hitting the subscribe button below, and also ring the bell to get notified whenever we publish a new one.